you know, non-human primates, the closest ones to us, they touch each other all the time to spread goodwill and to build up friendships, right? Touch is this very old system by which we communicate to other people. And we're finding in our lab that, wow, we have this rich vocabulary of goodwill and, and also we can communicate negative emotions with touch. You know, how do we use that to build up cooperative communities? So we study the National Basketball Association. If you just look at a basketball court, there's all this touch going on. High fives, fist bumps, embraces. Uh, I love how basketball players, like, when they shoot a free throw, they have to now, they all have to, like, reach forward, touch two guys, step back, touch two guys. That, I mean, that's incredible, right? And so we took one game of every team in the NBA at the start of the year, and we coded all of the touch that happened during that game. It took us eight months. Here's what we found, which is that a game is 48 minutes, and there's kind of summed up about a minute and a half of touch during that game. The more that a team touched each other at the start of the year, controlling for how much money they're making, the expectations that they would do well during that season, how well they were doing in that game that we coded, at the end of the year, not only do they win more games, but there are really nice basketball statistics of how selfless the play is. Do they help out on defense? Do they set a screen? And they were playing more efficiently and cooperatively, right? So we think that touch is really part of how teams do well. Should we get a high five for this video? Let us know by clicking the like button. And if you want to know how power affects the brain, watch this video here.